is how legends are made Above it all Untouchable A new animal This is how legends are made There you go guys, got the first merch out, <laughs> got the Rogue Sabiki rigs, I'm going to cut this down to a free hook rig to keep it in restrictions and um, yeah. First line's in the water. First, uh, first drop. There was a few nibbles. Not bad. Or is it just the sinker? Huh? <laughs> Gonna need to change the river. Fresh bait. Start off with. Like what the saying is, first one goes back. It's gonna pop, mate. <laughs> right, guys, we um we just deployed the the sea anchor. It's no wind today, but we still just got a little bit of breeze, enough to be annoying, and um just to slice down a bit. So here we go. Let's see what we. are we're dealing with here. I've got no bait on this one. It's my little sabuki. Do some little flasher jigging. This way you also get the yellowtail mackerel, which is really good for the cray bait, or if you still got some left in the freezer for um once the mercial band comes off, just nice and oily, good um, good cray bait, beats paying $55, $60 a box for your bait, when you can come out here, have a bit of fun and catch it, you know. Here we go guys, no bait. Good bite then. I like this little setup. Oh 
bite him with no bait. <laughs> Jagged it. There you go, guys. Light, light gear. You know, you, I'm only dealing with like one kilo line or whatever. Makes it a whole lot more fun. Alright. See, the, my technique, I like, I have these flashes on, and I don't like to just give them a little shake up and down. I could put bait on and I'll get peppered, but it just keeps it in, keeps interested. Keeps you interested. The dog man's on, he's, he's got little bent rods going down. Calling a double, a double header here. Look at that oh, bend. No, <laughs> Look at that bend in the rod. Look at that bend in the rod. Just winch him up. There you go, bit of colour. Oh, I've called it, a oh, double header. Double header. A double header, away. It's a double. A double, double. <laughs> double trouble. Nice size whiting as well, look at it. Good size whiting. That's what you get in the restaurant. $30 a meal, it's a couple of whiting, a bit of salad and chips. Oh, straight away, guys. No bait, just jigging. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Bent rods over here. I love the action of this little thing. A squid rod. Oh. Yeah, I enjoy this. Um, you know, some people might laugh and that. We've got a bit of... Um, Having a bit of fun though, you know. You just got to use light gear. Get out on the water. You catch a lot of fish oh, this way. Everywhere. Look at all these uh, birds. Hey. We've got birds working up over here. I think we're going to see some tuna up here soon. And then we oh, oh, stop your talking, superficial. Look at the rods being here. It's all go. It's pulling a bit of line. Oh. Even a bit of skippy. <laughs> Yeah, rats by the rats. Yeah, yeah. We'll get into that reaching down when we get to the zoo. Oh. There you go. Nice little one. Whiting galore. Whiting, mate. Oh, flatty. We're talking flatties. Oh. But you got to watch some guys. If that there gets you, oh, look out. It's happened to me a couple of times and nearly made some of the hardest men I know faint. It's quite a funny. That spike on the back right there. Bloody painful. Mm. Guys, a little Red Max Ferity. Abu Garcia Red Max. Next generation, they reckon. 702 allow. The whole $50 clearance combo at Anaconda. Doing the trick. It's got a nice little bend in it. Z Man's getting it sighted over here. He's getting some good size ones. Not bad. He's got a good bend on the right here. Yeah, so to find whiting guys, you just go out, find a bit of sand, whiting oh, everywhere. I lost it. Um, oh. Find the sand patches and use small hooks and away you go. Kids love it. So I like to introduce the kids to fishing because you got a bit more action and it keeps them interested. Alright guys, I just got this flatty and I was telling you this before about um, <laughs> these spikes I've gone to grab the line and he, he got me, yo 
So, the trick is, if they do get hit by one, you rub its belly. Rub its belly on the wound. Because they actually got some slime on their belly. Uh, antibacterial slime. I learned this from some um some local mates and um just rub it in I've like oh got it jabbed again but um you guys just rub it on the wound bleed in a bit and then let the poor little guy go See ya mate. He used all his venom on me. Look at him. He's like a, butter, a, a bumblebee. He's gonna die. Alright guys. I'm gonna sacrifice one of my whiting to use as bait. It's my favourite bait for whiting. Believe it or not, is actually whiting. They love themselves. Why you got the Why you got the camera on? So, so how many got here? Oh, oh that's a nice one. That's a that's nice a, I think one. I could have the biggest one here the day. Oh, yeah. I made the rod bend that puppy. Oh. Pull this hand, pouring out with blood. The old um, the flatty's got me. Two at a time, two at a time. It's a double hitter. Yes. Good size. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Look at that guys, a triple. Triple, nice size one. Yellow tail Ooh. in the middle. Beauty. We're on the yellows. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad, that's a fat one. <laughs> Good mixed bag right there. Fresh bait as well. Right guys, need 20 more. 22 more whiting. And we're all happy. We're having a little challenge. First to seven. They won the challenge. They get to clean the boat. <laughs> Send the cobwebs, the loser. Ones, eh? Gotta get the bones out of the big ones. I like the small ones, I just whack the fillet off and leave the bones in. But when you get these bigger ones, I like to pull the bones out so they get a bit more noticeable. Got a pack of whales over here, guys. Passing through, good to see. Okay, man, Z man's got six to go. Diver man, he's still got seven to go. Here we go. Jump to hey! five to go. Him and Z man's five to go. I've got six to go. <laughs> I knew I should have put more bait on. Z man, Diver man, got four to go. I've got six to go. Let's go. Come on. Bring it home, boy. Got the Abu Garcia Red Max next generation. Come on. I 
That's one. Yep. One, two. Come on. Haven't lost yet. Haven't lost yet. <coughs> Shit, this is heavy, this one. You got triples? Oh, it'll make anything if you got triples. <coughs> Feels like a bloody rass. Oh, look what's in the bottom. What's going on there? The sound is just lit up. I haven't seen that on the bottom for a while. Excuse me, guys. Got a dry throat. Oh, double. Oh, I'll take that. Yes. It's a KG. Save that, save that. That's better, I'd rather lose the comp for that, ladies and gentlemen. Save that spot, man. Yeah, it's KG's here. Fuck yeah! Oh, sorry. Hell yeah, I'm eating well tonight. Oh, I swallowed the hook too. Yeah, you can break that. You can break that, boy. Beauty! Uh, I don't mind losing for that one. <laughs> hey! Dollar man! Oh! <laughs> he just snuck up on the back of me and tapped me on the shoulder. <laughs> Guess who's on scaling duties now? Oh, oh boy. Looks like Zach's on filleting because he came second. Righto. <laughs> 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 Yo, guys. Good, good feed right there. They've got a boat limit, a bag limit. I'm oh, sorry. Um, nothing. None of these will go to waste. What we don't use, we'll be going for bait. Um, but um, yeah, share the love. Watch some people around for some fish fingers, whiting fingers, and yeah, beauty. You. Hey Mike, how are ya? Yeah, good, good, mod. Yep, this is the painful job, guys. <laughs> I lost, so I'm I'm scaling, guys. I'm scaling. I got told off. <laughs> <laughs> got reminded. Put in my place. No, we the comp. I don't have a lot Yeah, you won the comp, but you just love it. <laughs> You're born to scale. <laughs> You're the scaling king. Yeah, there's a very nice little tasty morsels. Some will be eaten whole, some will be filleted and crumbed up. go to waste. Sweet Z man. Have fun. Catch you mate. Enjoy those whiting eh? I will. Don't worry mate. Right guys. So yeah. Just a bit of a catch and cook this episode. I'm going to fill up this whiting. Skin on. Leave the skin on. Follow that backbone. Some people just like to run their whole knife through, but it's a waste if you go offline. So I like to follow those bones all the way through and come back up. See every bit of tasty meat off this beautiful fish. Come back up. Follow that backbone there. There we go. So I scaled this one so we can just eat that whole fill up. There you 
are nice little fillet. The bones are in here. So you get your finger, fill up along there, you'll feel the bones in there. So I just put my knife in close to those bones, tip close to those bones. You feel if you go offline. And then down the other side. You feel there's a couple of bones in there too. Just like to cut them like that. Since we're leaving the skin on, I don't know, a bone. I'm going to cut them all the way out, like so. Just feel, you can feel the edge of these bones there. That's one fillet. Turn it over. Same again. And then we got the same whiting. We've got the same whiting guys, same again. With the same whiting, I just run my knife down and then follow that backbone and just run a knife along that backbone. These are pre-scaled, the marina. So like that. On the angle, try and miss the gut. And then find that backbone and then just run your knife along it. Like so. Boom. Two nice fillets there. Grab the cloth, give that a little wipe off. Blood on the fillets. So there you go, there's your fillet there. Nice little fillet. There's some bones, the gut cavity there. Run your knife nice and thinly across that. And if you don't like the bones in these ones, because they're quite big, they're bigger models. Same again. Put your finger down, you can feel them. Right there in the middle. Just run that knife down in. And on the other side. Boom. Just like that. Alright guys. And here's the squid. I like to keep the the uh, wings as well. I eat everything except for the skin. So with the wings I just I just slice them like this. Make like fingers. Like so. Slice them. Crumb them up. And then head. Leave the head like so, just cut that in half. Cook the tentacles up as well. So you got all those pieces. Like that. Then with the tube, just ring it. Cut the squid rings. Should be coming for dinner, Diver Man. But um, yeah, just ring them all up. And then we'll see you on the next part. There you go. There we go guys, um, I only kept 15 right in and gave 15 to uh, Dollar Man's mum and dad um, as I wanted to bring the King George home for catch and cook and the squid so I thought I'd leave them little feeders uh, right in. Um, sorry John and Dollar Man but it's got to be done. And um, none of this will go to waste. We'll use this uh, for burley and catch some craze, put in the clay pots. And if I still got them when the Mercer bands start to pick up, I'll use them for bait. The awesome bait, throw them on your hook hole, and um, you'll be surprised. Big snapper, Joey's love them. There you go.
Now to cook them. All right, guys. One little kitchen cook. I'm gonna do the sort of whiting fillet and um some butter, olive oil in your pan. Get it medium heat. Chop some onions. I just chop them up. So um rings. Chuck them on the pan. Brown them a bit. Same thing, pepper, salt, stir up. This is our uh, breakfast time, by the way. Got a bit of a dry cough at the moment, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna cook me up some onions and cook me up. Brown them up. Browning. This is one of the man. It's easy for me. And you come around, I've been one night and I really liked it. I carried it on. So, onions are brown. I'll add a handful of whiting. There you go, guys. And, chuck in some squirt. A few chemicals there, a few rings. Look, chuck them in. Got a couple more. There you go. Put a bit more whiting. And there you go, guys. Bit of my whiting. Tomari. Salt and pepper. Just the salt. Bit of pepper. And just a stir. One take long with this whiting. It's good. Mix it in with the onion. Not the onion. Whiting. Tomari stir fry. Already starting to brown up. It's really just a stir fry this one. Make sure everything's touching the bottom so you're getting to the top. Just gonna squirt. I'm gonna touch it a little bit more salt. Get my flavor, you know. Pretty basic. Bit of butter, olive oil, cut your onions, fry your onions, and then once the onions are turned twisted, chuck in the squid, some whiting. Whiting flip. There you go, guys. Might be the muscle man, but we are still go out there and get some food, eating specimens. Beautiful. Can't beat it. Pretty sweet, though. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I cut a couple of eggs with it as well. That's your choice. I don't even know how to cook them. Voila. Ricky. Ricky for champions. Ricky for champions. And there you have it. Squid, onion, stir fry. Hey, bud. So, yeah, guys. Sorry, the um, taste test didn't come, but it was that delicious and weirdly delicious. So my mermaid said that she's eating me eating it, and um, yeah, it's my last bit. Delicious. Just gonna put up this whiting. Um, first off, I like to use freezer bags. I've um, pre-put the flour in this one. So plain flour in one, half a cup. So many, probably a cup of. Panko crumbs I use. Um, the crumbs. Leave that there. Just yeah. After all of that, so I've got my, my plain flour, pan crumbs in the freezer bag. So then crack an egg. And a bowl, two eggs. One, two. Mix 
Right, what I'm supposed to do, just grab a handful, chuck them in the bag of flour. There's about 10 there, 10 plus of sand wire, get the shake up. And then that, what that does, it dries it out. So then the crumbs stick to it. This is a lot cleaner way than using a, a, um, a plate, guys. That's them. Give them a beat up, so the air gets on it. Sorry um, if you've got noise in the background, my partner's got OCD, so she's running around cleaning the house. Excuse her. It's good though, it's good when um, you've got a missus that has OCD. They have a nice clean house. So then you chuck that in, out of the egg, egg yolks. You drain off a bit. In the bag, close the bag, give it a shake up. Like that. Just down it, just grab a plate. All the pretty crumb stuff. Give them a little squishing. Voila. A nice crumbed Sam Whiting thot. Perfect size for burgers, because that's what we're having tonight. We're having fish burgers. But, there's going to be a couple of special fish burgers. King George Whiting fish burgers. So I'm just going to do these. Here's a couple of bits for one lot. Alright guys, put the delicious skin on King George Whiting burgers. The old catch and cook. King George Whiting burgers, eh? How's it black? So yeah, put it in the flour, dip it in your egg, so it gets all wet. And then, straight in your bag of crumbs. Boom. Lock it up, give it a shake. Give it a pat. Voila, got a crumb, King George Whiting for it. Ready to be fried. Put that one, so quick guys, like, easy clean up. And then I'll just fry this, I'm gonna fry this with a deep fry tonight. At 190 degrees for about probably three minutes. Make sure it's all covered in egg. And then, straight in your bag of crumbs. Close it up. Give it a shake. That's done. Another beautiful WA Whiting. Crumb WA Whiting for Alright guys, easy way to crumb squid. Just like crumbing the fish. Chuck it in your bag of flour. These are all pre cut, like you've seen. Chuck them in the flour. Give them a shake. Egg. Shake the flour off, you don't want to around there. Make sure they get all the egg yolk on them now. And straight in your crumb bag. Take off the excess egg. And your bag of crumbs. One, two. Time again, easy the eggs. Shake it up. Push it down. And there you have it. Crumb squid rings, guys. So simple, easy. Been doing this for years. It's my favourite. They don't need long when you're cooking them. For two minutes max. At 190 degrees. And then the favourite part that a lot of people waste is I like the tentacles. Same again, just do them the same way. It's my favourite part, the tentacles. That's it. Let's stir it, some egg on them. Straight on the bag. Straight on the bag of crumbs. You know, there's some people out there that like to hold secrets, I don't see why. If you can make someone else's life easy, make it easy. Otherwise, everyone thinks it's too hard to cook. Because the amount of effort it takes for doing some things that some people don't know about, means they don't do it. I'm right, cooking now, guys. What I've done is I put the chips down first. 190 degrees, chips been on for uh, a minute and a half. So now I'm going to chuck in the squid rings. Dang, chuck in the rings. Order. Let me put the biscuits on the biscuits. Oh, it's funny. Dang, lemon. You don't need fry. You don't even need fry. Just shallow fry. 
get the same effect. Smoke, it's all covered with um. There you go. Bang, ready. Now, don't come out. Good time with the chips. Good have chips, guys. Right, guys, it's been on for a couple minutes, like three minutes. I'm trying to get actually three minutes. There you go, chips are golden. Crumbs are semi golden. But, um, yeah, we're good to go. All the shake off. Now, we're going to cook the fish. Here's the King George. You don't know how to place what's in the deep fryer? There you go. That's possible. Okay. And the biting fillets. Right, take one. Alright guys, two and a half minutes at 190 degrees and that's our finished product. Look at that. Nice golden panko crumb whiting. Can do it whiting? Sam whiting. Delicious. So yeah, bit of tarty on the bun on the bun. Lettuce, tomato, and got some cheese coming. MC Thai on the wrap. We got the lettuce and we got the cheese, we got the buns, but let them breathe. We're waiting for the fish. We like it extra crispy. And before you know it, we got extra feed. And that's more wrap. We'll wrap it up there, guys. <laughs> The beauty of hunting and gathering and catching your own fish. Look at that. Chopped off. And chips in the middle, guys. Squid rings. Oh, hey. Okay.